Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video on Rainbow Six Siege. Today, I would like to just say that IQ is still amazing. Guys, IQ, in case you don't know, is that operator that scans for electronics. And I have to say, she doesn't suck. Even though she lost her frag grenades and... You know, she's on to like a claymore now, I think, and breaching charges. She still doesn't suck, so let me let me explain. I think she kind of fits into the role more of a support for, uh, support type person rather than um, a fragger. She can still be a good fragger, but her main objective, obviously, with her gadget is to get rid of those electronics, whether it's cap cans or lesions, or just help spot stuff and counter pulse, right? So for me, IQ is still really useful. She doesn't have her frag grenades, which I think adds a, <clears throat> how do I say it, dynamic to her, where you have to be a little more active when you're using IQ. You know, I, I kind of feel like IQ before, you could take out maybe one or two entrances to the rooms of electronics with a frag grenade, and then someone else can run in. Right? It's very simple. That's what you could do as IQ. Now I feel myself as IQ constantly hunting down electronics and getting angles on electronics and getting rid of them. And so I'm just, I find that IQ, she's still very powerful, right? And honestly, she doesn't have frags, but other operators do. Buck, Sledge, and Finca. I mean, Buck and Sledge already, I think, are pretty good ops on some areas. So like, if you're gonna pick IQ, have a friend pick someone with frag grenades if you need, or have someone, heck, you would be Finca with frags, all right? It's not too hard to counter IQ not having frag grenades. I still think she should have frag grenades, but sometimes, you know, doesn't work out that way. And I think that it kind of creates a little bit of more of a meta to where you know, before, if you picked IQ, you maybe needed a Twitch or Thatcher if the enemies really liked reinforcing stuff and they picked an objective that, you know, maybe doesn't have a soft ceiling or something like that. But now, I kind of feel like IQ in certain situations cannot fit the role of that person that takes out electronics and also, like can look for them. I feel like she's just kind of becoming her own thing and you still need a person to take out electronics. And I kind of think Maverick fits into this too. You know, you kind of need a good mix of IQ, Twitch, Maverick, and Thatcher, and they all do different things, you know? Like, I know some people that they're starting to use Maverick to where if there's like a bandit trap, they just uh, they just um, take the blowtorch, get rid of the bandit trap, because um, they blow the bottom of the wall, and then the thermite goes, you know? So in that case, you don't really need IQ. But maybe you need IQ for lesion. That's really the main thing. I usually pick IQ if they have a lesion. That and I still need to get good with her. But she isn't a bad, unusable op. I find myself, even in solo queue, really liking to use IQ because it helps out my teammates, right? It helps them kind of not die it, they still will die, of course, because everyone in this game dies constantly. And, I don't know, I just don't think that, I think, yeah, they got rid of IQ's frags, Ubisoft did, but it's not as big a deal as it seems. So with that being said, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, you can tell me in the comments below. Do you like to use IQ? I do. I'm Pacific the Couch Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I will see you in the next episode of Stream Vlog or Steam Post of whatever I decide to make.